Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spotlight. I'm your host, Cinema77, horror and cult film lover, and um, I know, I mean, this this took me a little while. I was really trying to figure out which one I wanted to do a video on, and uh, I know, you know, uh, I know sometimes it's probably like, you know, some people might, well, I kind of like when you do like the cosplay stuff. Some people like when you try to do, you know, just uh, regular celebrities and things like that. Or, you know, some people like everything or don't like anything at all. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I was looking up some stuff and I came across some pretty interesting uh, uh, Harry Potter cosplay picks. So I thought I'd go ahead and do some of those. And uh, yeah, let's... Let's get into some of these. Some of these pictures are actually pretty fascinating, pretty interesting. So we're going to start with this one here. And um, I know a lot of people, for the first picture, I think this was a good one to start with. But I'm sure a lot of people might find this one seems a little too Photoshop. But anyway, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look. This is the first one here. Now, it's definitely going to have uh, references that you're going to remember if you've seen any of the Harry Potter movies. She's clearly standing at the nine three quarters. Yeah, express uh, yeah but anyway I thought this was a good one to start with uh, we got some trust me as the episode goes along we got some they're gonna be a little bit more revealing but I just thought that this was a good one and obviously because you know if you watch any of these spotlight videos before you've heard me say that you know I'm a leg man and this here the gorgeous leg with you know the pantyhose and I also think it's you know because it's got that vintage kind of classic look, you know, maybe something you would see more from like the 30s to the 50s maybe. I think that kind of adds to the appeal of it and there is something to be said for, you know, for that vintage classic look that does make it erotic and appealing. And um but also too, you know, that's the thing we're going to be noticing in a lot of these videos. There it is Harry Potter themed and you're going to tell, but I mean, come on, you know, we all love gorgeous women in schoolgirl outfits. You know, and this is definitely one of those instances. So, I mean, one of the most worldwide biggest fantasies, you know, we could have of women are women in sexy schoolgirl outfits. So I thought this one was a good one to start off with. And, uh, okay, how many of you guys out there, be honest, how many of you guys are out there? Because the reason why I bring this up, you see her holding out that shoe in her hand. How many of you guys out there seriously are all like, I would love to sniff that shoe. Be honest. But that old saying, tell the truth and shame the devil. But anyway, no, I like this. You know, I so like I said, I like the vintage uh, classic look, her hairstyle, the makeup, everything else. Beautiful. Okay. Like I said, you got the luggage, you got the owl. So she's obviously getting ready for, you know, her trip to Hogwarts. But anyway, yeah, I thought that would be a good one to start off with. And uh, if you hang on right after the break, I'll be back with another one. Welcome back. Now, you know, that's the thing. If you go to Hogwarts and you're trying to learn how to be a wizard and stuff, it's going to be awful kind of hard to concentrate when you got women looking like that running around. But the funny thing is, is um, you know what this kind of reminds me of? Uh, I don't know why, but the actress here or the model here, you know, with the hair and everything, it really does remind me of that Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live skit where you have uh, Lindsay Lohan. You know, where she's wearing basically the exact same outfit, dressed the exact same way. And the whole, you know, the whole point of the skit was that um, Ron and Harry, you know, just kept focusing on her body, even though they're trying not to. And, you know, she's, you know, uh, in that skit, you know, Lindsay Lohan, she's all very busty and looking hot and everything. And it's very hard for Ron and Harry to concentrate on anything except for the way Hermione looks. And this here would definitely, you know. Um, this would probably, this looks like, this would probably be like what you would see in the porno version of Harry Potter. That's the thing. Is there a porno version of Harry Potter? Can somebody tell me? I don't even know. I don't know if there's a, if there's a porno version of Harry Potter or not. I'm not even sure. Um, some people are probably watching this going, yeah, right. You know, but anyway, honestly, no, I don't. But anyway, though, yeah, I thought this is, looks amazing. She looks amazing. Um, just, Yeah. Really, really good. And, you know, if your wife or girlfriend dressed like this for Halloween, you know, it's like, yeah, she definitely casts a spell on you. That's for sure. So. Anyway, I thought this would be a good one. So if you hang on just a second, I'll be right back with the next picture. Stay tuned. Welcome back. And now for the next picture. 
this one here, I don't know if it's just the way the model looks or what, but it looks like, is it just me? Or does that look like Allison Hannigan? It looks very much like Allison Hannigan. I'm waiting for her any second to start saying, you know, this one time at Bandcamp. But uh, yeah, I thought that this was a very sexy, sexy picture. Obviously, the legs, you've seen the, you know, the pantyhose, the garter belts. Very, very hot. You know, she's wearing the, you know, she's wearing the Hogwarts robe and everything. And, you know, she just won the, she just won the trophy for Quidditch. So, how cool is that? You know, yeah. And you see, she's got the ball. She, yeah, she, she definitely killing it. And, uh, yeah, this is, you know, I mean, obviously this is to go into the, you know, if you have fantasies about Harry Potter, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people do, but this would definitely go into it. But yeah, she looks great. Everything looks great here. So yeah, not much more I could say about that, but just looks really good. Anyway, so uh, yeah, but still, I still think she looks like Allison Hannigan to me. She does anyway, but um, hang on in just a second. I'll be back with the next picture. Welcome back. And now this picture, I think this is if you like your Hogwarts girls a little bit on the busty side. So I think that that looks pretty good. A very gorgeous looking woman there, I think. So, yeah. Very, very beautiful frame. and She's not skinny as a rail, but, you know, hey, still, she looks very gorgeous. And that's the thing, though, too. We're Again, we're going for more of a vintage kind of almost uh, classical look, which, I mean, that's all fine and good. It's just the only thing is, though, is like, is it just me or kind of, I know it's like the idea is you're not even supposed to be looking at this, but it's just kind of the setting doesn't seem like it matches. Like, is this supposed to be like in Harry Potter's home? Like, where's the, uh, you know, where's the horrible step parents and, you know, the horrible step brother? You know, that's kind of what it looks like. But I mean, obviously, we're going for a very classic look here. I mean, look at the old Time Life magazines and things like that. And, you know, but. But even still, though, it's like, yeah, I'm sure. It's like, it's not going to take much for this girl to cast a spell on you to make you fall in love with her, if that's what she wants to do. But um, still, I say she looks pretty good. Just give you a second to admire. All right. So, very nice. All right, so that's going to pretty much do it for that. And uh, I'm going to take a short break. And when I come back, we'll have another good one for you. Hang on. Welcome back. Now, here we go. We've got, you know, that's the thing. When you go to Hogwarts, you know, you got a lot of classes. You, know, you got a lot of things you got to learn, you know, defense against the dark arts, making potions, all kinds of things like that. So, but anyway, so, you know, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to concentrate. Okay. You really got to apply yourself if you ever want to graduate Hogwarts and become a wizard out in the real world. But I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder to concentrate when you got this distracting you. So, well, it's kind of like the uh, the one girl I said looked kind of like uh, Allison Hannigan. This one here kind of looks like, uh, remember back when Katy Perry used to have like black hair? That's kind of who she reminds me of a little bit. Maybe kind of like a little bit of a mix of, um, of uh, Katy Perry and, uh, oh, what was her name? I just did the video on her from Game of Thrones. Uh, Arya. Oh, God. What was her name? Anyway, I'm sorry. The name escapes me now, but still. So, yeah. Uh, whew. That's going to be the thing, though. I would think, though, if you're going to be the professor of that class, you're definitely going to ask her if she wants to stay behind so she you could have a little talk with her after class. But then again, too, though, I don't know, because you got to figure, all right? Usually, uh, if you watch any of the Harry Potter movies, the girls at Hogwarts are pretty smart. You know, you got some pretty, you got some pretty sharp cookies there. So it's like you really, really want to tread carefully with these girls because they know their shit. They know how to cast spells. They know how to, you know, um, you know, put a spell on you to make you do what they want you to do. So, yeah, you better tread carefully. You know, hope she likes you. But uh, anyway, though, still, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to focus. Like I said, trying to. Concentrate on, you know, you know, making potions and spells. Or are you just going to, are you going to be a perv and just, you know, sit there and just try to figure out what spell you could cast to lift up her skirt. So. 
But anyway, yeah, I thought this was pretty sexy and pretty cool. So it is, um, I mean, it's not bad, you know, I mean, it's like, it's a nice picture and everything else, but it is kind of minimal, isn't it? You know, not really, not really as extravagant as some of the other pictures we've seen in terms of background and, um, you know, setting or anything like that. So this one here is kind of like, you know, I mean, obviously the woman sells it, but you know, still you kind of think like, you know, damn, they could have put a little more effort into it. But anyway, so still good enough. You know, I still, I'm not going to cry. And uh, we're going to take a short break. So hang on. I'll be right back. Welcome back. And uh, here we go. It's like now we're getting into some serious stuff here. Ooh, wee. Oh, uh, man. This girl, she doesn't need magic. She doesn't need a wand. She doesn't need anything to cast spell. I mean, she just, oh, my. I'm going to go ahead and show you. Look. I mean, for God's sake, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> All she's got to do is walk in a room and she's got everybody under her spell. There's nobody who's going to resist this. I, I would be stunned if you could, you know, it's like, uh, if you could resist her charms, you are way better than me. I would, I would never in a million years be able to have that kind of willpower. I could not do it. And it's like, I mean, unless she's got a squeaky high voice and she comes up and her voice is, smooth and soothing and everything it's like you know she utters one sentence it's like i'm gonna melt like butter but yeah i mean for obvious reasons you know why i picked this and oh my goodness gracious how cool is that i'm gonna leave this up just for a few seconds i mean come on just admire this how could you not no disrespect to the woman i mean just i mean i'm offering praise for god's sake Oh my god. Yeah. All she gotta do is just step up in front of Voldemort and he wouldn't stand a chance. I think the biggest thing she would end up doing is turning Voldemort into a chronic masturbator, but you know, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and show that one. So uh take a little break and right after I'll be right back. Here we are. We're back. And again, another one that I don't think anybody could resist. Here we go. There you go. Goodness gracious. How many of you guys out there right now, you know, you got a wife or a girlfriend. How many of you right now, even though it, it's February right now, how many of you are already sitting here deciding what you want your wife or girlfriend to dress up for for Halloween this year? It's okay. You could go ahead and tell me. I won't judge. But yeah, I just thought that this looks wow. Holy goodness. <laughs> Another woman there. She, you know, she's got the wand. Hell, she wouldn't even need the wand, you know. It's like, you know, all she's got to do is just say hello and you're under her spell. So holy cow. Anyway, uh. This is the kind of girl, you know, it's like, you know, she goes under the sorting hat. You're going to pray, you know, even if you're atheist, you're going to pray that you get put into the same house as her, whether it's, you know, Slytherin or Gryffindor or Hufflepuff or any of that stuff. You're going to pray you get put in the same house as her. Sorry, I know I'm being quiet for just a couple of seconds, but I'm just letting you enjoy this. I know I am. So, oh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for that one. And uh, I'll be right back and I'll have a new picture for you. Welcome back. And uh, this one here, um, hmm, yeah, looks good. And here we go. The only thing is, though, is like, I, I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'm not all up on my Harry Potter. I have no idea what spew means. I mean, unless it's just meant to be something dirty, but, um, yeah. But I don't think anybody's real, you know, I think if anybody's uh, looking at the sign, it's like, yeah, I could think of some things that are going to spew, especially with her around. But anyway, the only thing is, I'm kind of concerned. Like, what is with the knitting? Did they do? I don't remember in Harry Potter, like, anybody was really big into knitting. Where the hell did they decide to get that from? You know? Uh... Is there like a, 
I don't know. Is there maybe like a class at Hogwarts where if you take up knitting, you can knit your own invisibility cloak or something? I don't, maybe that's, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe, yeah. Knit your own invisibility cloak. There you go. So. But anyway, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, you can tell why I like it. Look at the legs. The beautiful pantyhose legs. and Looking very gorgeous. So, yeah. You definitely would want to go to, if there was like an adult version of Hogwarts, yeah, you definitely would want to go there, especially after seeing this. I wouldn't blame you. But anyway, yeah. So that's going to pretty much do it for that one. And uh, in just a second, I'll be right back. I'm going to take a little break and I'll come back with a new picture. Hang on. Okay, welcome back. And now this girl here, I think... Uh, yeah, I think she's a student at Hogwarts, but I think she had to take a side job to pay her way through school. So we got this one here. There you go. Holy cow, man. It's like, oh my God. I think this looks really, really good here. It's like, you know, that's the thing though, too. This basically plays into the, you know, I mean, obviously it does. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know, but I mean, obviously this plays into the whole schoolgirl fantasy and things like that and um you know she's wearing the glasses and obviously plays into the whole fantasy of you know you got like a girl with glasses and you know she's beautiful but she's smart and everything but you just get the you get the sense that once she takes those glasses off you know she's going to be a wild girl and you know the re that's when the real magic is going to happen is when those glasses finally come off but um I mean, my God, you know, yeah, she looks amazing here. And, um, you know, so I say all she got to do is take off those glasses, let her hair down. And that's it. You know, never mind. You know, uh, you know, God, <laughs> Deathly Hollows wouldn't be nothing for her. You know, what I mean, she could totally beat it. <sighs> but, anyway, but yeah, like, you know, like I said, she kind of looks like, you know, she would give you a lap dance and, you know, she'd be like, you know, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to wizarding school, you know, and I, I need to pay my way. So that's the thing is like, could you imagine though, like if she goes into defense against the dark arts class, could you imagine professor Snape? I mean, Snape was very, very dedicated to, you know, what he was and everything. But I mean, if anything could ever distract professor Snape, I think she could do it. I would think she could do it. Yeah. So anyway, so that's going to do it for that one. And uh, we're coming close to the end of the episode, but um, hang on and I'll be back with another picture. Welcome back. And uh, yeah, we got another good one here. I think this one looks very, very nice. The costume looks really good. She looks amazing in it. So yeah, she's ready to cast some spells, man. You know, she's been studying. She's been working hard. But uh yeah, so anyway, I thought this would be a good one to go with. Ooh-wee. That's the only bad part, though, is like I said, you know, this would definitely make me want to go to the Hogwarts school, but it's the only problem, though, is like, you know, if you try to... That's the only bad part. If these girls don't like you, they could turn around, they could put any kind of spell on you that they want. The only thing is, though, is like, you know, well, you could ask her if, you know, if you're into this kind of thing, you could ask her, you know, would she be willing to put a spell on you to turn into her slave? You know, she might be willing to do that. We'll see. But I don't know. Just kind of, you know, maybe if you're on the down low and, you know, mind your P's and Q's and stuff like that, maybe then finally you could secretly put a spell on her to turn her into your love slave. You try. So. Uh, yeah. Hoo wee. Anyway, so yeah, got that one. And uh, hang on, and we're going to show up with the finally, the last picture. So I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. And I thought for the last picture here, I thought this would be good. It's, uh, you know, it's like, to put it bluntly, it's a picture of a you know, woman 
dress up in a Hogwarts outfit, and she's playing with a pussy. So, here you go. I know that was a bad joke. I just, I couldn't help it. I couldn't resist. But, yeah. It's like, you kind of wonder, you know, who is that cat? You know, that could be you. You never know. Maybe if you play your cards right and everything, maybe she'll turn you into a pet cat and she'll love you and keep you around and, you know, play with you and make things all good. So, you can tell, you know, it's like, yeah, she's playing with her familiar there. And had a long day. You see, she got the books and everything else. Just, and so, mm hmm. She's having fun. She's getting ready to go to the Quidditch game tonight. And there you go. Sorry, just I admit, I'm kind of focusing on the picture. I admit it. I'm kind of speechless here, but. And so, anyway. Wow. Goodness. Yeah, I can see snuggling up next to her when she goes to sleep at night. And she'll change your box, too. You know, he's like, you know, how cool is that? You got a mate with her. All right. Anyway, so that's going to do it. That's going to wrap up this episode of Spotlight. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, there'll be more videos posted. I thank you for watching this episode. I hope you really did enjoy it. And uh, until the next episode, take care. Everybody have a good night. I'll see you later.